We are headed eight hours south to the Texas-Mexico border to fish a lake of many anglers' dreams. At one point in time, this lake was considered to be one of the best in the world. An unbelievable set of circumstances on Falcon Lake. Falcon Lake. Falcon Lake. 28 pounds, two ounces. Keith Combs has done it. I decided to, to pack up the boat, bring up Caleb, tell him to pack up the camera gear, and we're gonna make a trip. Three to four days send to a lake I've never fished before, but I've only dreamt about. morning from Lake Falcon. Day number five. Officially day number two of fishing. It's like some weird weather right now. It's like 7 a.m. and it's like very dark. We've got a layer and veil of fog that has slowly rested here in Zapata, Texas. Every time I wake up morning, it's been surprising weather. This place is usually always hot and sunny and beautiful no matter what time of year it is. But since we've come down here, we've got a lot of cold and strange weather. I think it's getting a little bit better today. We should have warmer weather. And, you know, yesterday we caught a really nice fish, five pounder. The stepping stone for hopefully what is going to happen today. And all the locals have told us that the warmer it gets, the better it's going to get and the more these fish should chew. I've only caught four fish, but... You know, like I said, you gotta start somewhere. Even though this is a big bass factory, it's uh, it's no guarantee. No, I'm not sure why I just have a pile of baits out there. <laughs> You're just gonna just rig last night. What did you do with the tail? <clears throat> Why'd you take it out? You don't take it out. Oh, it's straight now. Oh. You can't just put it back in, you dumbass. Oh, you can't just put it back in? <laughs> ruin the tail on the bait that I guess we're gonna snap it off on the cast. Yeah, it's just gonna fall right. Is that yours, Perry? Yeah. Oh, so why are you so pressed? It was. It was when we traded for it. We didn't. He, he, he. Hey, 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 dude, let, let me trade you for my ankle shaft. Hey, hey, let me, let me get the ankle shaft back. Hey, hey, you wanna trade for the ankle shaft? Okay, $500 for the ankle shaft. <laughs> and then when it comes to this angling ability, there's no shot. Dude, you are. Actually, terrible. <laughs> like, seriously. I want England? Yes. Look at this. I want to show you guys this just to give you perspective as to how low this lake actually is. Where we're driving right now is the makeshift ramp when the water is 40 feet down. Look at the maps. Maps thinks that we're in the lake with our truck and trailer. But in fact, it's just, it's just low. Technically, you could have fished this spot where my truck is at maybe, what, 12 years ago? Something like that. When yeah, the water was, was all the way up. That's just so crazy, man. I also wanna show you guys too when we get back how the lake has significantly dropped because it has affected the fishing, and not only the fishing, but the culture too. I've read a lot about how the fact that the dropping water really isn't great for the community because it doesn't bring in tourism, doesn't bring in you know the same amount of people that were coming here back in 08. But there are some hardcore idiots like myself that still wanna fish falcon and see what this place truly is and i think today is the day like we really get that full opportunity yesterday was good but we were just coming off that cold front and uh, today it's going to heat up very quickly there's literally no wind today and uh yeah you know, we're probably going to see some anglers out there's actually a ton of boats already here already wow. we're like not the first ones Uh, I don't know. I kind of try jerk bait. What? Jerk bait. We are starting where we left off yesterday. 
this is where we had most of our fish and most of our bites. Grant is doing a bit of cranking, staying, uh, staying on course as to how we caught those fish yesterday. I'm going to do a little bit of jerk bait fish and see if maybe these fish are up in the water column, suspended. Oh, look what I got. What'd you get? Is that bait? Oh, a scale. <laughs> I knew I felt something. You're like the rough fish angler. What is that? What kind of scale? That's a carp. Carp, yeah. yeah. That would have been fun. That would have been interesting. Oh, got me going. Much calmer today though, so I wanted to try the jerk bait, see if I can maybe scope a couple. Jerk bait in general is honestly a really good lure for these water times too. It's still pretty cold, 54 this morning. You're a little swimmy though. They just cleared out. going on oh uh, i just figured i just figured i'd give you a call if you need some intel like what depth should i be fishing because i can't catch it out here yeah us too we haven't had a, we haven't had a bite oh really that's so bad do you guys think i was gonna send it to mexico this morning you were over in mexico <laughs> i mean a, li a, a, li a little bit not a really little, though, just that. a little bit yeah <laughs> I was I was faking you guys out. I thought you guys would just like get up and follow me, and then we go we just ride into Mexico together. <laughs> Straight into Cartel Cove. There's some more boats out here today, that's for sure. Yeah, it's because the weather's nice. But so this is gonna get up to 20 at 3 p.m. So I don't know what I don't know what this lake is on. This place is crazy. Well, it's gonna blow at 20 at 3 p.m. Yeah, out of nowhere, it gusts of 20. We're actually out here hanging out with Border Patrol. They're like. A couple yards away from us right now. Gardettos. What are you, 90? Hey. I knew you were going to do this <laughs> stupid. Let us go. Touchdown. As long as it wasn't like one of those little dried up pepperoni looking things. What? The rye chip? <laughs> is that, is is that one, name the rye chip? You don't like these? Nothing. These are the best. Comment down below if you think the rye chips are the best chip in the Gardetto bag. <laughs> like some drunk guy got some seasoning and some dried up crumbs and put them in a bag. They're and then he so called them good. Gardettos. Is it Italian? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah, they're made in Italy. If you can make Gardettos a business, then you can do anything in life. Period. Yeah, the parrot can make a toothbrush business in your Oh, maybe not that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, just take up the whole f boat deck, Grant. Oh my god, you're throwing a drop shot right now holy sh i should have let you fish with parrot today i should have handed you off the parrot yeah f 10 xd and eight inches of water there's one there's one nice fish nice fish nut yep actually good fish came off the rock but jump oh it's a giant it's a giant it's a giant dude Came right off that rock. Oh, she swallowed it. Do not jump it, girl. Oh my god, dude, that might be one of my biggest fish. That is a giant fish. Oh, do not come on. Do not come on, girl. Holy hell, that's a big one. Get that gear ready with that net grain. It's coming out. Right there. Get her. <laughs> Dude, no fucking way did that just happen. Double digit. No way did that just happen. Every time. Every dude. time, dude. Holy sh! There's an old house, but there's like an old house foundation out there, and I just kept casting, casting. I got hung up on the rock, and it came off. Did that just happen, <laughs> bro? My heart is pounding. That is literally one of the biggest bass I've ever caught in my entire life. Holy. Dude, yeah, that's gotta be okay. it's gotta be close, man. Holy shit, look at its tail. It might have been on a bed or something, bro. Put it there, homie. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> this is literally my first fish of the day. We pulled up behind these twigs just because, like, we were fishing deep. We fished out. We decided to fish the in-between. We're in, like, 13 feet of water. I found, like, an old foundation of a house behind these, these trees. We were originally flipping the trees, and I 
just saw that it looked rocky, so I threw the crank, and that literally is one of my biggest bass in my entire life. Dude, that is such a giant. That's, that, dude, I don't know, it's heavy. It's a big fish. Wow, dude, that's, that's a crazy looking fish, man. A perfect, perfect Lake Falcon bass. There's the ideal February bass right there. Yeah, you want to catch them now because they're fat. A fish like this in the summer could be very skinny and ultimately not going to be as heavy. Oh, not even, you're right. Nine, six, five. Damn, really? No way. Nine, six, five? Let's try it. Oh, hang on. Let me clear this real quick. They look so insane in here. I think that's one of the reasons why I'm like, how is it not 10? Because it just looks insane. Yep, nine, seven, two. Just shy of a 10. My biggest bash the whole trip. To think that we've been sitting inside for the past four days, and this is the result of that. 23 inches. That's why it's not 10 pounds. Yeah. It's not even a long fish. This fish isn't even, this fish is not even 23 and a half inches. What do you think? Uh, uh, 10, 8? 10, 8? Lower? 9, 7. Not quite 10. Looks like a 10 pounder though. Beautiful fish though. All right, send an old girl back. Thank you for biting. Putting her literally five yards away from where she bit. Never know this time of year, they could be staged and getting ready to spawn, so you don't want to freaking pull them off their spot and release them 100 yards away. Oh, it's a good feeling. Put her there. Good stuff, man. Now, if we could just figure out a little pattern here and catch some more, that would be nice. That would be nice. Cool. Oh, oh what's up, tree? And then now we're in the trees. <laughs> There's under your boat snack. That's a fish. That's a fish. Yeah. Good one? Yeah. Not? Yeah. Seriously? Hang on. Yeah. I gotta reel this in. I don't want to get tangled. Let's go, dude. No way. And not a fluke, baby. Not a fluke. How big? Not a bad fish, though. <laughs> Thing, huh? <laughs> well, guys, it's finally not a fluke. First freaking fish. It's a good one, too. You're good. You got nothing in front of you. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, where's this fish? Fucking so hard. It's like a five pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. Right there. Oh, I got it. Oh. Nice, dude. Oh, finally. <laughs> What's it there? Uh, not a fluke. I was like, a monkey off my back. I was like, Grant, do you think that nine pounder was a fluke? And he's like, yeah, probably. That's right where I caught my nine. Finally. Put it there. Let's go. We're dude. just getting started, man. We got, it's, look, it's the hottest hot period in the day. These fish may just be chewing. We may have been fishing the good stuff all morning, but they're just not eating. Yeah. So right now it could be the dinner bell. That's probably close to high fours. Yeah. It's a good bass on a little tilapia pattern. Deep diving crank, babe. God, just to just to finally feel something pull back, close to a snag, just feels amazing. Oh my gosh. Lake Falcon bass. This is uh what we're looking for. And John really showed, you know, what this lake has to offer. But this lake is teeming with fish like that. So man, I'm pumped. We'll just see if we can't get one twice this size. See ya. Look at that. I think that's oh my god oh you god. see that yeah right there. Another one. Another one. Big one. Right. they like that tilapia color man another nice fish not as big as the last but we shall take it i'll throw one up, What? You hit? Seriously? Saw that. Nice. Begging? Begging. Begging. I hear you. Begging. I think we figured out a little something here, dude. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Nice one, dude. 
Nice one, dude. <laughs> Let's go, dude. This is this is gonna push us over 20 pounds right yeah. here. Which is, oh yeah. This will be our 20 pound mark just on dude, four fish. For us. Did he? <laughs> Please stay on there, girl. This is bigger than my last one. That's for sure. Oh, let's go, dude. Lake Falcon, man. We're getting some redemption on this lake. Look at that. On the blazing worm. That Absolutely crushed it. That might go close to six just because of its gut. There you go, partner. Heck yeah. <laughs> That's a better one right there, baby. What is your guess? Say just six on, one. Yeah, maybe six. Six oh one. Six pounder. Let's go. Dude, that's a good fish. Hell yeah. <laughs> Six pounder. Let's go, baby. On the big worm. Get her back to where she came from. That being the old foundation of the house. You can see it on the graph. It, it's just a tangled mess. And it's literally an old house when they flooded this lake. And it's now home once to people and now to girls like that. Boom. Nice one, brother. Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> Good. I watched him eat it. That's number five, baby. No, little guy. Another one for the blazing worm. Whew. If you can get him on a moving bit, it's fun. But watch him literally chase that blazing worm down to the bottom and, and crush it. Oh my gosh, you cannot beat that. You cannot beat that. That is fish number two of the day for me. And that is our limit. We got five fish for probably. 24 pounds, something like that, maybe a little more, a little less. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Such an awesome fish. They're unique, man. You won't find fish like this anywhere else unless you're really fishing Mexico. Falcon bass are one of a kind. Look at his, his tail. It's almost like a yellow green. Their pigment is nuts and their attitude is even crazier. One pound fish like this just melts you. Just melt. I mean, you saw what that nine pounder did. That was insane. Bye bye. Thank you. We're taking them out. Let's keep cranking. Wow, the day is, ow, ow, ow. The day's kind of slowing down right now. The wind's picked up, the conditions have completely flipped as it seems to always do out here. So I want to like sit down and take a couple of seconds to explain to you how we're making this happen. Like we really figured something out last minute. This may come as a surprise to a lot of folks, but here in Texas, we only have one natural lake. We've got, I think, well over a thousand lakes here, but the, all of them, with the exception of one, like I said, are dammed. So basically you have a creek or river, uh, the town or the city dams that river and it becomes a lake. Now, sometimes these lakes are made within the past like 30, 40 years, meaning there once was homes and towns adjacent to the river. It's a pretty common occurrence. A lot of lakes around here have houses underneath them. So basically what I'm, what I'm trying to get at is what we've been catching these fish on are old home foundations. People probably built their homes close to the river because it was good for swimming or fishing or it just makes sense. Civilization has always been about building your homes or your cities on the water. So when Grant and I pulled up that spot where we caught the nine pounder of the day, I just pulled up in there because it was like 13 feet of water. There was some standing timber and it looked good. I noticed after scanning around, I saw like this huge rock. So I cast it over there once, cast it twice. Third cast with the deep diving crankbait, something similar to this, like the recon got crushed. Looked at my graph, I'm like, that's crazy. Like, I wonder what that rock is. Sure enough, that rock that we marked was lined up to a, a sunken home on my map. So what we did is, thereafter just look for other sunken homes throughout these trees adjacent to the river channels it's a very specific pattern that we really stumbled upon on accident but literally every single fish we've caught today has been fishing a submerged home and we're starting off by throwing deep cranks on it first we'll take like 10 cast on on the uh, on the home foundation if we get bit great if not we pick up the blazing worm which is just an awesome warm water worm grant's been throwing the june bug seems to be getting more bites than what i'm throwing i was throwing the okeechobee craw and we've just got this on like a three eighths ounce weight pegged just slowly dragging this water's still cold it just now got up to 60 degrees fahrenheit but this morning it was below 55 and these South Texas bass do not like that. So everything I just mentioned is a great way to catch fish in the early season. Like these fish haven't moved up completely yet. And if they have, they've definitely moved off a bit. And they're, uh, they're in these in-between points, like 13, 14 foot. Just look for a house. Like literally look for a home underwater. Throw your crank, throw your worm, get bit. Got him. Big uh, Not bad. Oh yeah, nice one. Another one. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, I got a bite. 
was <laughs> hectic, dude. So they get him in there. Another five pounder? Yeah. <laughs> this is insane, dude. We absolutely are figuring them out right now. Well, John couldn't say it any better, but yep. We looks like we found something. It's getting us some quality I, bites. I got throttled right when you had that bite too. Another nice fish. This puts us uh, that's 26, that 27 pounds. pounds. Yeah. yeah. Whew. No, almost 20, 29 pounds, dude. Yeah. Because we've got a six, a five, three, five, five something else, and a nine. Yeah. Almost ten. Yeah. Another good one. to a successful, final successful day on the famous Lake Falcon. But tomorrow is our real day to really piece together what we learned just a few hours ago. While on the water, we're winding down back at the cabin, doing a bit of rotting, doing a bit of chilling, just sitting, watching cable TV, having a few drinks, and uh, really reminiscing on, honestly, a pretty good redemption day. I don't know what our full weight was. Oh, let me close this by the way. Freezer's wide open. I don't know what our uh, entire five bag limit was, but I think it was, Grant, what was it? 29.3? Yeah. We were a freaking three pounder away from having a 30 pound bag on a lake that absolutely kicked our ass for the past couple days. So that feels good. And to do with literally no knowledge at all, just going out there, winging it, having fun tomorrow. I want a 35 pound bag, like well over 30, like 34, 35 pound bag. I think we can make it happen. I know that sounds insane to say, given how this series has gone down, but uh, I don't know. I think we've figured something out for sure. But I just want to say cheers to all you fellow wieners for sticking with it and staying tuned. I know it's been a very difficult series to watch, but uh, I do appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you guys bright breezy in the morning. Keep fishing, never stop. Keep fishing, never stop, wieners. See you tomorrow.